Let's take a look at the ASUS NVIDIA GTX 760 Direct CU2OC. All right, another non-reference card. This one is smaller than the standard GTX 760, which is nice. The, um, the heatsink actually extends off the back because they wanted more fins so that they could overclock it. And uh, this is one hell of a little card. They've, they've used a lot of really high quality components. So let's talk about what makes it a little different than the other 760s out there on the market, shall we? And then we're also going to do some benchmarks, but the benchmarks are going to be in a second video. We're just going to talk about what makes this one different. First off, the specs on the 760. Uh, it's PCI Express 3.0. We've got two gigabytes of GDDR5, and that's running at 6,008 megahertz effectively. We have uh, 1,152 CUDA cores. The base clock is 1,006 megahertz, and the boost clock is 1,072 megahertz. And it does feature GPU Boost 3.0, so you'll notice that sometimes it goes even higher than that. It essentially, uh, you know, the graphics card essentially looks and says, oh, I can do a little better and not overheat, so it'll it'll bounce up and down. And then when you're in Windows, it'll downclock itself so that it doesn't suck up all kinds of power and get hot. And uh, the memory interface on this is 256-bit. Now, the GTX 760 is very similar in performance, and it kind of beats it in a few areas at 1080p. So it's also a more expensive card, the 670. Okay, um, also on this unit, we do have uh, two DVI ports. One is a uh, dual-link DVI port that'll power a 1440p display. We have a uh, full-size display port and HDMI. HDMI will support a 4K display at 30 hertz, and the display port will support a 4K display at 60 hertz. This is a quote unquote 20% cooler and two times quieter, they say, but I haven't, I don't have a reference card on me to verify that. So I don't know if it's actually that much quieter than the reference or not, but it, I will say that it is a better designed heatsink than what you get with the reference. And it all, they also have the, uh, the fans that you'll see on a lot of the um, Asus Direct CU2 parts. Uh, they're dust sealed on the bottom, so dust is not gonna ever get into the ball bearings of the fan and the double ball bearing fans as well, so they'll last quite a long time. Now, um, this one also has a super alloy power, much like we talked about with the GTX uh, 780. There's not quite as many phases of power going on this one, but you don't need that many phases. We have the 5K caps. We have the, uh, you know, the, the better um, chokes that are solid. They're not hollow. And we also have MOSFETs that are smaller. Uh, they can handle more power, but they produce less heat. So that's all nice. We've got a nice heat sink on top of that. It's also a very easy card to take apart if you wanted to take it apart and play around with it. I'm not sure why you would do that. It would probably void the warranty, but... Yeah. Now, there's a lot of power going to the GPU in this one, and it's a smaller card, so the PCB is going to get really hot. Here's what they did to combat that with this graphics card in particular. On the back, you'll see there's a, a small plate here that says direct power, and it's a separate you know, piece, like an additional little piece there, that routes power directly to the GPU. And it keeps that, uh, all that current that's going through there off of the PCB, keeping the entire thing cooler. It's actually really smart. I haven't seen something like this in quite a while on, on a GPU, but it's it's raised off of the uh, the PCB direct power, y'all. So that's really what makes this one a little bit different than some of the other GTX 760 cards out there. This will also fit into a smaller form factor case than a lot of the uh, 760s out there. So it's a hell of a card. It's nice and fast. If you guys want to see how fast it is, what you need to do is click on the screen right here. Just click the freaking screen and go watch our benchmarking video. We put it up against some of the other graphics cards have a little bit of fun and you guys can see how it performs in games at 1080p and 1440p as i know a lot of you guys out there have been picking up those 1440p monitors that wendell and i have been uh, talking about from from uh, korea these things are ridiculous if you don't have one you should get it right now it's like more important than eating today oh yeah there's a link for it yeah click on some stuff we got a link for that too there's a link for that is that like a, did someone coin that phrase yet can we coin that phrase asus gtx 760 direct cu2 oc there it is see you guys next time It sounds so salesy. There's a link for that. Oh, uh, we're doing a video. Yeah. It's another non-reference card from Asus. These guys have a, have a problem with, with references. I think they're very irreference.